In this video, I'll tell you how to access a subfolder in C++. So let me paint an example for you. This is your CPP file and let's say it's here. And the text file you want to access is basically in a subfolder like this. In that case, if you use the normal approach, the fstream approach in opening a folder, by just typing in the name of your text file, then it won't work. All you will get is a blank, blank file because it didn't open successfully. Now, what you have to edit is this. Basically, you have to put the name of your subfolder in front of your text. So, like this, and then add in a forward slash. Make sure it's a forward slash and not a backslash because there's a big difference between the two. Once you've added the forward slash and then type in the name of the file you want to open, you'll see that it works now. See that's burned here? So while I'm at it, I'll tell you one more thing. Basically, what to do when your folder is outside of the current path you're working in. So for example, this guy is in desktop right now, but let's say the file I want to access is in my C, C drive, somewhere here. In this case, um, you can't use the relative path approach I used just now. So you have to use an absolute path approach. What that is, is basically just copying this path here and going back and just pasting this path here. It's just as simple as that. But make sure you replace all the backslashes with front slashes because Windows just uses backslashes as default. After doing so, add another front slash and type in the name of the text file or just any file you want to access. And you'll see that it works fine this time too.